Welcome to Teens on Topic. I'm your host, Emma Arnson, and today I'm joined by... Eric and Adam. And before we get into the meat of this topic, let's hear what adults around Davis have to say about it. Uh, do you think drug use in high school has increased? And for what reason? Um, I think it just depends on the area, because where I'm from, I remember in high school a lot of kids, all they really did was smoke weed. But like nowadays, I don't know, I don't know why, but I feel like a lot of them are doing harder things or I just notice they're doing harder things and I'm like, y'all are like 16. <laughs> Do you think like stresses of like rising expectations for academics have like, uh, like forced this onto kids or do you think it's just like more recreational drugs are available? I think that also depends on the area. It goes both ways, I'd say. With like um, higher um, accessibility, um, especially kids that are stressed, they will do it um, as a way to like break free from the social stigma, I'd say, as well as uh, recreational use does come into a play, and then with recreational use to make a profit, it does come towards like selling it to friends, getting more people involved. Um, there is a good and bad side towards it at the end of the day, so it just depends on the area, your intentions, and how people will view it. Do you think like the government and like the school system should do more to like stop this problem if it's like you know growing so badly? If it's growing so badly, then yeah, totally. Cause like, I mean, a lot a lot of drugs, they're not good. So <laughs> I mean, obviously, but like, so like a lot of the drugs like will mess up they're not good for the kid and if they're doing more it's not gonna it'll help with stress but it's not gonna help with like their academics or anything with like drugs like cocaine or like LSD and stuff like that but like I don't know much about weed <laughs> that's, a, that's a different drug so um, honestly what I know from school districts they're probably not doing enough or what they should be doing to support students um, honestly I think that there could be more done um, I went to a charter school and really there wasn't a whole lot of preventative measures taken by the teachers. There wasn't a whole lot of other programs that were um, offered. So yeah, I think a lot more could be done, frankly. Yeah. Awesome. Hmm. I'm not sure that it's the high schools. Uh, I'm not sure that's any of their business. They're there to hopefully educate the kids, give them the tools they need to make safe choices. I think the society is full of drugs. Kids be drinking caffeine, that's a drug. All their parents overdo the caffeine use, you know what I mean? So it just depends what we're talking about. But uh, how else are these kids supposed to make money also, you know what I mean? They're, they're going to sell drugs if there's no schools. So if you shut down the schools, then, you know, the kids are going to come trap out the schools. You know, what, what are you going to do, man? Do you think that, like, the rising, like, academic expectations for uh, teens has, like, contributed some to, like, their drug use? Oh, yeah, man. There's too much pressure, man. It's, it's, it's so much on their young minds, man. It, 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 they're still figuring out life and what it's all about, man. So, of course, they're going to use more. And it's their parents' expectations, man. It's, it's on the parents, man. they got to be there for their kids to show up in their life, and then they won't turn to drugs, man. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good night, guys. Be well. Well, <laughs> that was some very interesting opinions that we heard. Uh, what do you guys think? about what they said. Uh, yeah, I think it's definitely a problem in the schools nowadays, and I don't think the districts, uh, especially Davis School District, I mean, that's what I've experienced in, is doing enough to stop the drug use. And, like, for example, they've, they've started to, like, catch on to the, the vaping aspect, but, like, I don't think they can really do much to stop it when it's outside of campus, like alcohol or, like, marijuana, but I don't know. It's interesting how... They really have no like say in what kids do. School. Schools here in Davis don't really do much about it. They probably like seen it and don't and just try to ignore it because it's probably a big. Pro I don't know. Is what I've seen. Yeah, I think it's kind of just like out of their hands for like. I mean, kids are gonna find a way to like get access to drugs, whether it be like through older siblings, through like, I don't know. Yeah, homeless people. There's different ways of getting them, and I think you mentioned that, um, like some, yeah, you wanna, there's like kids who uh, have green cards and stuff, so they, if they're over 18, they can. Sell it to younger age people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I think it is a bit of an epidemic. I 
personally don't know how it was in like the 80s or the 60s or in comparison how it is now to back then. I mean, 80s movies, if that's any way to think about it, there was a lot of drugs in 80s movies, so I don't know. <laughs> Sorry? There's always drugs. Yeah. Since the start, somehow. I don't know. Huh? I think it's always been a problem. Yeah. Do you think that younger and younger people are getting into drugs, or do you think that's just how it has always been? I you know, feel like the next generation is going to have different ways to use drugs or do drugs, you know? Yeah, I think we're seeing like younger generations get into like vaping because I hear like stories about even like middle schoolers like vaping, and that's kind of crazy to me. And now, nowadays, it's super easy to get like a what do you call it, jewel? Yeah, the the jewels and yeah. whatever. And like the government is trying to like regulate it, but like it's hard for them to actually keep it out of the hands of teenagers. And we talked about this on our jeweling episode or vaping episode, but. Yeah, they're trying to like take away like the the colorful flavors like mango and stuff that kids are like apparently more attracted to, but I mean, I think it's it's just too hard for the school system to actually have a say in what their kids are doing whether it be on campus. I mean, you hear stories about kids getting caught in the bathroom, but it's really like such a small fraction of the amount of kids who are actually doing it. Yeah, like as a younger like like student, if you're, they probably hear like the word like unicorn flavored, and they're like, "Ooh, that <laughs> yeah. probably tastes good," and they probably like try it out, and yeah. that's how they get addicted, and then they pass on, you know, to their friends, and it's like it's nonstop. Like candy. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, it's definitely gone out of hand recently. Yeah, I think I definitely don't think that administrations have an idea of how bad it is, or if they do, they are not doing anything to stop it. I don't think they really can because even if they just had a inkling that maybe this person's doing drugs there's not really much you can say you're doing drugs and unless you can say no I'm not so unless you like actually catch them in the act it's kind of hard to prove something like that yeah. so if they do get catch and they probably find a n different way to get access to what whatever they were doing and one thing that the school system has done, which I think is pretty cool, is they uh, recently at DHS we had like a drunk driving assembly. So they're not directly like l trying to limit people's access to alcohol, but they're trying to make it safer when kids are actually using alcohol, which is kind of inevitable. But they're making it so that kids are aware of the dangers of drinking and driving and like the harms that using drugs uh, in an unsafe manner could cause to themselves and other people. So I think that's good. So, um, like, if you, you could go to the store and buy a Red Bull or, like, a Bang, and the parents were not saying anything, and they're probably, like, the child would be like, oh, if I could do this for my brother, probably could do this without them noticing, you know? Because, mm -hmm. like, caffeine is also a drug to me. Yeah. Do you guys think that the drug problem will get better or worse in the future? I say worse. I think it's definitely going to get worse, um, especially if like you say that marijuana is like growing at the rate that it is with uh, legalized access in California now. I think that there's there's no way that the usage of marijuana is going to go down from that. So I think yeah, definitely like younger kids are going to get access to marijuana. Which, I mean, I'm not. I think there have been studies which say that it's bad for growing minds, but. I don't think it's as harmful as other like hardcore drugs such as LSD and cocaine. So I'm not sure if it it's that like huge of a problem when compared to those more hard drugs. Yeah. Also, there's like a lot of music videos promoting like weed. And, like kids listen to that like younger, listen like grow up and then like hear all that. And, like uh, yeah. And like some rappers like they. Uh, they like have the the purple drink and stuff, oh, which is yeah. like cough syrup and tons of nasty codeine and stuff. I don't think that's good to like advertise to kids either. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you think that hard, more kids will be using hard drugs in the future uh, beyond weed? Yes. Yeah, I think if the school systems don't adapt and learn to take care of these problems, then yeah, for sure, the hard drugs are going to start coming into at younger ages. Do you guys have any ideas on how schools could handle drug problems? No, better? I don't. 
it's hard because I think that school systems, like, they only really have control over what happens on their campus. So, I mean, I think just having teachers, like, know the what their students are up to and, like, have uh, teachers and staff know, like, what these drugs, like, the effects of it and how to, like, see that in a student maybe. And so that, like, I think that would be helpful because you could have a staff, like, pull a student aside and say, like, is there anything we can do? Like we notice, like some behavior. I'm not sure, but it's hard to limit what kids do outside of school. Yeah, nowadays, like like a vape pen could be like this small, or it even looks like a pencil. Mm -hmm. You know, it comes to all these shapes. Like like a thing I seen one, uh, they sell them on TV. Like they look like a flash drive, and like a teacher was like seeing it just flash up. But it's not. Yeah. I, I definitely think that teachers and administrations in general, they don't really know what's going on, even though they can try. That it's just they'll never be as up to date as the people who are actually using yeah. the drugs and abusing that substance will be. So I think that uh, it, it is really hard to try to think of different ways that they could do better because I mean people are, are already trying to think about that now, mm -hmm. but. I think that one thing that might be more beneficial is maybe having stronger teacher-student connections, having more of a community. So if, if people are abusing drugs more because they don't feel like they have a home or they're depressed or something like that, that maybe they'll stop doing that. But I definitely think that people just use it recreationally just because it yeah. is fun to do. So yeah, I definitely think that we should try to combat um, drug use from like a community standpoint and we should try to get everybody involved in like knowing different aspects of drug use and how they can see that in their child and try to prevent that in the future. And that's the only way we're going to really try to conquer this as a society is if we tackle it community by community and get everybody on board. Do you guys think that like anti-drug ads work? No. Um, I don't think they're really like, I don't think they have that much of an influence on the people who are actually taking the drugs. I think they kind of maybe only influence the people who already have, like, a certain, like, mindset about the drug. Because let's say you have, like, an anti-marijuana ad, the people who are already, like, against marijuana legalization and uh, recreational use are going to take the most out of that than the people who are, like, already using marijuana regularly. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I... I think that, I mean, when we look at cigarettes, it's, it's interesting that although there's definitely plenty of people who still smoke cigarettes, it's really become something of more of a thing like, oh, you smoke yeah. cigarettes, you do this. And obviously it's been replaced by vaping, which you can make arguments whether or not it's better. But I think that maybe that sort, do you guys think that that sort of reaction could happen with drugs, or do you think it, that that's just kind of immune to it? Well, so I went to Mexico not long ago, and when I went to the store, all these cigarette boxes, every like brand had a picture of an image of like something that could happen from smoking. And I, I don't know why the United States doesn't do that here, but like when I saw the box, I just like walked away, it was pretty nasty. Yeah, I think that, um it's kind of sad to see how like the tobacco industry has kind of like transferred their efforts into vaping cuz like a lot of big tobacco companies have like started to fund companies like Juul for example and these like multi-billion dollar like industries that is being created off of the next generation of kids that are addicted to nicotine. And I think that's that's really sad because nicotine is already I mean although vapes don't have the the smoke effect, which is um, really harmful to the lungs and obviously causes cancer. Um, nicotine can have harmful effects on the brain, and it's uh, expensive for kids. They're wasting all their money on something just to like feel a little bit like spun, as they call it. So yeah, I think that it's sad to see how kids have the next generation of kids have become addicted to nicotine through a different um, format. You guys have any last thoughts? Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Yeah, don't do that's drugs. Definitely. Um, well, thank you 
for joining us. This was a very interesting, exciting episode. And hopefully you'll join us next week.